Hi, and welcome back to this light show video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a light show in Ableton Live using your launchpad. Please ensure that your launchpad is connected to your computer via USB and configured with Live, as we demonstrated in the previous video. To get you up and running, we've created a light show project file for you to get started with, which you can see just below this video. So I'm going to click on this project to download it. Once the download is complete, please navigate to your downloads folder and unzip the file like this on a Mac. And if you're on a Windows machine, right click the zipped file and select extract all, ensuring that you select the show extracted files when complete checkbox. At this stage, I would recommend navigating to your documents folder and creating a new folder just like this on a Mac. And just like this on a PC. And name it Launchpad Projects. Then copy and paste the unzipped file into this Launchpad Projects folder so that you don't accidentally delete it if you clear out your downloads. Any future Light Show project files that you may download can also go into this folder to keep all of your Light Show projects organized. Then open Live. Click on Add Folder in the browser on the left hand side of Live and navigate to the Launchpad Projects folder that you just created and press Open. This is what this will look like on a Mac and this is what this will look like on a PC. You'll now see the folder available to open in the browser on the left hand side of Live. Click on this and then navigate to the .als file and double click to open the project. This project is now opened up in Live. Before we start playing this light show, let's run through exactly what a light show is. It's the performance of an existing song using the launch pad and there are two elements to a light show, the audio and the light effects. The song is split up into small audio clips and these audio clips can be loaded onto the pads on your launch pad using a drum rack. Light effects are then created using MIDI tools inside of Live, which can also be loaded onto certain pads of the launch pad using a MIDI effect track. Now, in order to begin performing this light show, we need to configure Live to send the incoming and outgoing MIDI to the right places. We need to ensure that the track with the audio samples is receiving MIDI data from the launch pad. And this means that when we press a pad on the launch pad, audio files will be triggered. We also need to ensure that the track with the light effects is receiving MIDI data from the audio track. We need to set the monitor to in and that it's sending MIDI data back to the launch pad to display the light effects. For the launch pad, please set the channel to channel six. Finally, make sure both tracks are record armed. If you can only arm one track at a time, then right click on the record arm button and disable arm exclusive like so. To summarize, when a pad is pressed on your launch pad, a MIDI note comes into live. This MIDI note is received by the track with the samples on and that triggers an audio file. That same MIDI note is received by the track with the lights and this triggers a MIDI light effect, which sends MIDI notes back to the launch pad to light up the pads, thus creating a light show. Now let's play the light show that you have in front of you. Press the user one button on your launch pad and your light show is now ready to go. I'm gonna play through this light show for you and then break down the elements included so that you can play it and experiment with the included sounds and light effects.
Okay, so the melody, chords and drums at the start of the project aren't really very straightforward in terms of their timing. So you need to be able to keep time in your head to play along to this light show in time. Now to practice getting an idea of the timing, let's play the drop section and count along one, two, three, four. And then we can use that timing when playing back the beginning section of the song. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I recommend tapping your foot along with the one, two, three, four to help you stay in time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now that we've got the timing down, let's look at the order that we need to play everything in to play the song back. Firstly, we'll use these four pads to play the melody like so. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next up, we're going to add the chords in, which run along the bottom four pads just here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When you've got the hang of that, try playing them together like this. The next section that we'll add in is the drums, which are on these four pads just here and are played like so. One, two, three, four. 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 Now once you've got the hang of that, we're going to use the right hand to play the drums and the left hand to play the melody and the chords just like this. This section of the light show demonstrates how we layer sounds to create a full light show performance. The next section is the breakdown and the first four bars of the breakdown can be found up on these pads just here. The breakdown is then continued for a further four bars on these four pads coming down the left here. Now after this section comes the drop. Now the drop section can be found just here. And this is where we're gonna add a little bit more of a complex finish to help you develop a little bit of speed while you're playing your light shows. The first three bars can be played like so. And the last bar will require a little bit more speed and timing. So this is how it goes. So to explain that a little bit further, this pad plays for half a bar and these four pads play for an eighth of a bar each. Now you may need to practice this one a few times and that's absolutely fine. Now once you've got that down, you can experiment with adding the chords to the drop section like so. Now, if you want a reminder of how to play the original song back in the way that we just showed you, then you can go to the lights track, ensure that you're in the device view by clicking just down here, and turn this light show rack off. Then, ensure that you're still in the arrangement view by clicking just here, double click the stop button to make sure you return to the beginning of the track, and then press play, which is spacebar. You'll then see that the pads light up to indicate which pads you should be pressing at what time to play back the original song.
When you're ready to play the light show again, turn the light show rack back on and you'll be ready to go. Now feel free to experiment with playing these sounds in different orders to create your own unique performance. In the next video, we're going to point you towards some additional resources to help you make and perform Launchpad light shows.